What's up, everybody? Hi, hello. Welcome back to Knights of the Old Republic. Guess what? I get to record part two. Back to Bran Lenstar and Adventures on the Planet Terrace. I think I'm on Terrace. Okay, I get to record a part two. <laughs> Yay! For the first time in like a month, I've been trying to get this game to work. I finally get to record a part two. Two spikes and three meds. Okay, cool. What is that? A workbench? Okay. Throughout the game, you'll find weapons and armor that are marked as upgradable. Can be improved with the action of an upgrade item! With upgrade items, you can use this workbench to construct new, more powerful versions of upgradable ranged weapons, melee weapons, lightsabers, and armor. Okay. Melee. I. Oh! Okay. That is upgradable. Okay. And I have nothing to upgrade. I have a prototype vibration cell. Okay. Well, okay, that's 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 cool. That's cool. Hey, by the way, I can kind of. Yeah, I can do the cool spinny twirly. Yes. What's in your mind? Uh, now we're good. Actually, wait. Can I ask you about you now, Karth? All oh, right. I was gonna check the voice level. Mandalorians were that senseless. My homeworld was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. You're kind of talking like it's your fault, like you failed somehow. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty. That, that shouldn't mean I failed them. I, I didn't. You want to talk about it? No, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not making much sense, am I? You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Cool. I know more about you. First off, let me also... <coughs> check... Yeah, I want that a lot higher than it actually is. Music can go down a little. Sound effects can go down a little. Yes, what's on your mind? That sounds better. You got it. <laughs> that didn't make much sense today. All right, that pauses. Um. Okay, so we have an apartment. Karth and I. It's very nice. I can upgrade. I can. Okay, that's just that. I thought like this screen was doing something. A lovely view of the terrace frontier of apartment buildings. Let's go explore! <clears throat> Every time you leave the apartment, you must select which party members you wish to take. First time you're leaving, you have to take Karth. Okay. Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. <laughs> Like how those first two shots missed. Also, screw you. That's how we sit, <coughs> smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Sounds good to me. Uh, I'm gonna start with you, actually. I should use a grenade, but... Yeah, later, nerd. <laughs> I don't think it will be, but, you know... But, uh, yeah, are they gonna come searching for these guys? I don't think, uh, we're out of the woods quite yet. Can I loot him first? Cool. 
Cool. I can loot them. Nice. Well, there's a backpack here, too. Don't mind me. Blast rifle, frag grenade, poison grenade. A lot of adrenals. Well, two. Oh, can I not? Because they blew up or something? They look lootable. Also, I can level up, so that's cool. Level up skills. <laughs> I have three points too, dang. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just put one parentheses two point parentheses s into stealth, and I'm gonna rescind that already in favor of persuade. And how about? So I feel like robot friends would be pretty good for some minions for Bran Lenstar, Hero of Space. Okay, what feet do I want? I keep talking a good game about empathy, but... Okay, I need to be level 4 for improved toughness. Oh wait, no, that's just that's just one extra vitality. Oh no, okay. Retain- oh, re no, it just retains. Okay, so what's that one? Gains an additional- okay, so... I'm not gonna worry about that then. Um, part of me wants to like get rid of that because that's minus four defense you need to be level four for that so demolition stuff persuade awareness and treat injury oh okay you know what let's do that if i didn't realize persuade was on that cool bran lenstar has become more handsome what about you? Can I level you up? No? Okay. Karth is very light side. I am dead straight in the middle. Uh, you alright, buddy? Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, I can't loot them, though, so I'm just gonna have to deal with the backpack we dropped. Um, just gonna quick save. Uh, yeah. There's a janitor. Okay, so, like, uh, now I have this big open, I'm not confined to an, an air low security door. I can... Bash it! I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Hello. Lion, huh? Uh, hi. I'm Bran Lenstar, hero of space. Energy shields. Airplane emoji. Sorry about that. What's so great about these energy shields? Radiant aura particle mesh that absorbs blaster bolts. Protects against light sit. Oh, yes, yeah, sign me the heck up, buddy. Shields ain't perfect, I only absorb so much before they burn out. Iron blasters take basic dueling shield empathy. Okay. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand-to-hand -hand and melee combat. Okay, so where did the tech come from then? It's on using the shields and things. So the Sith came, discovered the technologies, and he could escape. Shields are too rare and too expensive to hand out to an entire army, but a shielded strike team can take out a whole battalion of soldiers armed with conventional blasters. Gave the Sith a huge edge in early battles, but it wasn't long before the Republic was able to reverse engineer the tech and come up with energy shields of their own. Now both sides are scrambling to come up with new weapons, slice right through the shields, but until they do, you're going to see melee combat come back to the forefront. Sure, uh, what else? Only the shields. It ain't cheap. Could mean the difference between life and death. Kiosk is mentioned in merchandise sound. Okay. Uh, so why do you have a kiosk set up here other than it's right near the tutorial? So we basically meant to be illegal aliens renting out these apartments. Not that I care. Uh, but tell me more about that. 
Most aliens aren't allowed to have a residence in the upper city of Terrace. They allow a few of us to annex up here, but for the most part, it's humans only. Well, that's Star Wars. You know, self-respecting upper city human want to live in these apartments. In the apartments in this dump, so the land has been running out to the apartments illegally to aliens. Okay. Rather than letting them sit empty. Yeah, otherwise you get squatters, people hanging out from the authorities, living in abandoned apartments, and they don't pay rent. Well, I wouldn't know anything about that now, would I? Uh, <laughs> I just care about getting caught, though. Like, not that I care. I'm Brand Lenstar, hero of space, but... The terrorist authorities pretty much turn a blind eye to this place. A few legal aliens just weren't worth the bother. Once the Sith took over, they felt the same way. Of course, this guy doesn't know here. Just runs a small business, providing supplies. Yeah, you know what? Let's see it. Okay. 44 credits for a med pack. Oh my god. I could get another Vibra Blade for all. I almost have enough. Okay. Military suit. I can use that. Heavier and more restrictive than some of its counterparts even so Many merchants swear the trade offs are worth it. Okay. Combat suit, I believe I have. Light metal armor. That is expensive. And then lots of grenades. There's the energy shield. It costs more than I can. Okay. Uses five. Okay. Deflects energy. Duration 200 seconds or max damage taken. Using the. Okay, so it comes with five. Okay. Do not stack. Okay. Okay. Okay, so then what's up here? There's a lot of stuff. Quarter staff. Vibro sword. Two to twelve. Ugh. Oh wait, no, but that's one to six, and it's what I'm using in my left hand, so. Regardless, I can't really afford that, but I probably have some stuff here. Oh, I can't sell the well, I mean I could, but I have a vibro blade? I have another vibro blade? When did that happen? I can sell one of them. I, you know, I can sell, like, one of these. Or all of them, it doesn't really matter. Okay, I can sell that. There we go. Um, I'm not gonna sell any of the rest of this stuff, so let's go back to buy, and... I think I'm gonna go ahead and get an energy shield, because it was just very heavily recommended, so... Oh, okay, thanks for the warning. Okay, so then how do I like equip that head? Oh, I can equip. Oh, I can equip that. Okay. Um, constitution plus one micromanages cardiovascular system. Constitution. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, do it up. Uh, and an energy shield here. Okay. Anything else I can use? So I had a vibro blade. Okay, that was that. Can I equip that here? Won't do any difference though. But I like it better. It's cooler. Okay. What about another vibro blade? No, I have my damage for good. Okay. Okay, well now I have some vibro blades, which is really cool. Yeah. Good stuff. Quick save. Um, off we go. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Good stuff, buddy. Good stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna bash him. That would be not heroic of Bren Lenstar, hero of space. Hello, friend. Quarren. Quarren's alien. Can visit the sucker because of quarantine. Rip. Sucks to be you. Hello. Students of quarantine are living for good. Yeah, right. Good luck with that. I wish you luck, Doctor Yun Ito. Uh, sorry, didn't know. My name's Kadir. I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new tenant here, right? Never thought they'd rent that abandoned apartment. Hmm. You look like an off-worlder. What happened? You get stuck here because of the quarantine? Can't see any other reason someone would want to rent that old apartment. 
Yeah, sure. I got some questions. Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess I can try and help you out. Yeah, uh huh. Uh, tell me uh, about this place. Decent enough place to live, I guess, except for the lower levels. That's where the swoop gangs hang out. Just stay in Upper City, and you'll be fine. You also might want to check out the cantina. I used to go there when I was younger. Good place to get a drink and find out what's going on in Upper City. Thank you. Where is that? Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper street there. Then. And from there, just head south a ways. You can't miss it. Thank you. I should get back to work anyway. I'll probably see you around. I'm here most of the time. The building doesn't clean itself, you know. I oddly really like the voice performance of this janitor. Very just, like, believable, normal person. Uh, real happy with that. That, that was really nice. Uh, let's elevator. Uh, tell me a joke. Marvelous. It's a little security door. Here we go. Upper city south. And we're on the street. Journal entry added. Oh, okay. Man. People complain about the Sith, but this quarantine is good for all the businesses on Terrace. Look at Javier's Cantina. That place has never been busier. But yeah, well, swishy swish swish stab. Um. Well, yeah, the Cantina would be busy. What else can you do when you literally can't leave your house? You go drink. I mean, that's pretty obvious to me. Um, just head south a ways, huh? Uh, yo, what's up? Yes, what's in your mind? Uh, is this a good time to ask more questions? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later. Is this really necessary? Uh, not really. Um, no. If you, if you ain't cool with it, I ain't gonna push your buttons about it. No, no, I don't have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and interrogate me. All right. Where were you? Where were you on the fourth? Colonel, he's not telling me anything. Okay, whatever. This is an interrogation. No, I was just joking. Though you do seem to be full of questions. It's rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened from your perspective. Okay, so let's tell a funny story. I used to be a soldier like four times when I watched that crash happen. And, uh, well, let's just, uh, you know what? Yeah, um, uh, yeah, I, 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 I wasn't really in a position to know what was going on, let's be honest. Neither was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship. save us somehow. Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? I, 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 I could, uh, I, I'm a scout. And, uh, I was recruited for being handsome. Well, that makes sense. Still, it seems a bit strange that someone who is a last-minute addition to the crew roster is one of the survivors. Uh, I, I, did you want that to not be a thing that's happening right now? Uh... Don't be ridiculous. You've more than proved yourself since the crash. We wouldn't have made it this far without you, but still. Implying that I had something to do with the crash? Get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested a transfer board happens to survive. Why would Bastila request my transfer? The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, but whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. Okay, well, are you accusing me, Bran Lenstar, of being an RPG protagonist? Uh, yeah, also, shouldn't we, like, be trying to work together? I am working with you. I'd be a fool not to. 
I'd also be a fool not to expect the unexpected. Here's the thing, like, I'm very rightly so kind of taken aback by all of this, but Karth is a thousand percent right. But, uh, you do know we're on the same side, right? Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And <laughs> no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? That, that part, that droid, oh my god! The droid is now Serana. I'm gonna come up with a nice, like, long name to call this bot Serana. Uh, by the way, I, I kind of consider this pretty important. All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious. You know that? We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. Okay, cool. List character skills. Okay. Whatever. Um... I'm still pretty solidly in the middle. Looks like I'm leaning slightly darker than I normally am, but maybe that's just color theory. Okay. That's Kebla's shop. Let's... Equipment Emporium. Hello! Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. You know, the voice acting in this game is actually, like, super solid, especially for how old a game it is. Like... I can actually hear personality in some of these characters. More than just, like, Karth and whatnot. Like, I, I mean, like, in general. Like, I can actually hear personality coming through, and that's always really nice. Uh, also, yeah, let's see what you got. Just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. Okay, you're cheaper med pack wise Oh, oh my god. Not that I can afford literally anything right now, but... Stun Baton. That sounds fun. Vibro Sword. Double Bladed Sword. I kind of want to go that route too. Because they're really cool. Um, mines. That's cool. Permacrate Detonator. Oh, okay. So I need Demolitions. Cool. Yeah, some of those double-bladed stuff. Ah, uh, okay. Dang. Rip. Thank you, Kabla. I should ask questions and not be a page in an impatient hero. Hi there, Brent Lenstar, Hero of Space. Welcome to the. Uh, I got some questions. Anything I can do to help a potential customer out? What do you want to know? Uh, yeah, let's tip my hand. This is a great plan. This option is a great idea. Let's, let's absolutely just give away that we're being hunted for right now. And she's in coots, like, trying to stay open in a city run by the- Yeah, this is, this is the best, best option of all time. How do you feel about the Sith? Before I completely blurt out that I'm, like, a fugitive, what do you know about- How do you feel about your overlords? Uh, it's not. Killing my business. I can't say I like having them here in Upper City, but it could be worse, and we're still a lot better off than the Lower City, what with those swoop gangs and all. Uh, tell me more about those swoop gangs. I don't have anything good to say about those swoop gangs. Zooming around on their swoop bikes, terrorizing the Lower City like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad when the Hidden Becks were running the show, but ever since the rise of the Black Volker gang... <laughs> The lower city has been nothing short of a war zone. The Sith haven't even bothered trying to maintain order down there. And I heard a rumor that Davik's own people are having problems with the Black Volkers now. Okay, oh, Davik? Oh, Davik's a legitimate businessman, if you get my drift. Smuggling, slaving, extortion. Mm. They say he's a member of the Exchange, you know, the big intergalactic criminal organization. Mm. Well, I've heard of the Exchange. That organization across, 
But if anyone has blockade breaking ships, however, it's them. I have to pay them a protection fee every month, but it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Davik and his suppliers. I'm just smart enough not to ask where it came from, you understand? I really like the character work going on here. Like, just, just so much personality in the voice. I love it. Is uh, Davik working with the Sith, by the way? Davik hates the Sith as much as anybody. The quarantine has put a real dent in his operations, too. But he's keeping a low profile as long as the occupation lasts. <laughs> Davik stays out of the way, and the Sith don't bother him. The Swoop Gangs could learn a thing or two from this tidy little arrangement, instead of always going after each other. Um, okay, I'm just gonna tip my hand. I heard a couple of pods crash down in the Undercity. I bet the crash sites have already been stripped clean by the Sith, though. Unless the Swoop Gangs or Davik's men got there first. Um, uh, how about some just, how, how's the weather? Oh, you're one of those off-worlders, aren't you? Come to Terrace for a short business trip and end up stuck here because of the Sith quarantine, right? Oh, you can't be too happy. Trapped on an unfamiliar world and all. But Terrace isn't so bad, as long as you stay in the upper city. Just try to avoid the Sith. And stay out of the lower city. The swoop gangs are totally out of control. Even Davik's men are having trouble down there. Cool, thanks. Good day to you, then. Uh, remember to come back to my shop if you ever need any supplies. Sweet. Okay, so that's men pack and that's energy sealed. Okay, so I can just pop that at will. Person! Social electric- Stay out of the lower city. That place is overrun with gangs. Cool. Uh, I'm still heading south because Sith Trooper, I'm not gonna talk to you. This isn't Cantina music. What a ripoff! Hello. Don't you just love watching the Kazak players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. Uh huh. Body Vaughn, have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Kazak player on Taurus? <laughs> um. Okay. Who are you? My name is Niklos. I'm the unofficial champion of the Pazak circuit here on Taurus. If you don't mind losing your wager, we could play a few hands. I'm good. Um... Questions? <laughs> I don't come here to answer questions. If you want to play Pazak, then let's play. If not, then quick crowding my gambling table. Okay, but I don't have a deck. You don't even have your own deck? Then why are you bothering me? You can't play Pazak without your own deck. If you're serious about Pazak, Go speak to old Garok on the other side of the tavern. His gambling days are over, and uh, he's looking to sell his deck. Cool. I bet it's a starter deck, and that's probably why he's, like, gonna quit gambling or whatever. Hey, I was told to come speak to you on the other side of the bar here. I didn't hear I'm Brand Lenstar, hero of space. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits, and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. I can't. Who are you? My name's Garouk. I used to be a card shark. One of the best Pazak players in the Outer Rim. But that was before I retired from the gambling life. Uh-huh, why? Don't get me wrong. The game's been good to me over the years. I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've won countless fortunes, and lost countless more, but that was long ago. Things have changed. Gambling is a young man's game. That's why I'm looking to get out. My offer still stands. I can't afford that. I'm sorry to hear that, but 50 credits is my best offer. I'm practically giving the deck away at that price. If you want it, it's yours. Not no hard feelings. Okay, bye. Of course, of course. No sense in a youngster like you wasting your days away with an old man in a dingy bar. But if you ever want to chat, you know where to find me. Aces. Arena monitor. Oh. 
Terrace Citizen. Part of me wants to go sell some stuff and get that deck. It's just side questy enough for me. Don't expect this to be a short series. Unless, like, the universe explodes, in which case expect it to be a pretty short everything. Hi, Kabla! Welcome to the equip- And I wanna... I wanna sell some stuff. Um... Well, that literally is not worth anything. That's worth two. That doesn't help me at all. Those are worth nothing. That's worth 32. Um... Okay, that's one of four. Ion, though. Plus one to ten versus droid. One to eight, one to six. Okay, so you know what? Let's sell this then. Thank you! I'm gonna go gamble now! Can I run? No. Or maybe I can, I don't know. I'm just gonna run here. <laughs> Why would I security the cantina entrance? It's an unlocked door. Okay, I'll just walk in. I was being lazy and clicking because I was doing stuff. Hi, I have money. Don't ask where I got it. I am Hello, Brian Landstar. Sure. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, yeah, you said it came with a lesson. Before each Pazak match, you must select 10 cards to form your side deck. Four of these will be randomly drawn to form your hand during the match. A basic Pazak deck has two of each card numbered plus one and plus five available to create a side deck. You will find other side deck cards play Knights of the Old Republic with values ranging from plus minus one to plus minus six. Okay. Ten cards form the side deck now. Okay. The object of the game is to have your face-up cards total higher than your opponent's hand without exceeding a total. Ooh, this is fun. Player's total is greater than 20. It's a bust. The opponent wins the set. Player must win three sets to continue the match. Okay. First player draws a card from the main deck, plays face up against their turn, stun automatically. It's my hand for the match. Made up of four cards randomly drawn from the deck, created earlier. These cards have to last through, through all sets of the match. Okay. Player has the option of playing one of the cards from their hand, only play one card for being sure by dragging it. Okay. Playing a card from the hand is optional. After you've drawn a negative card, bring it. Oh, okay. Either negative positive value. Right. Of, oh, okay. Declared as positive. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, obviously that makes sense. Well, it's in your hand, you flip back and forth once it's played. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. If you choose to end turn, you will draw another card on your next turn. Okay. So stand is I'm done for the round, and end turn is I can draw again. Um, let's do a plus three. Okay, so I never- yeah, you know what, let's end turn and see what happens. And they follow the same rules, okay. Oh, they have a ten. Oh, but I have an eleven, okay. That's a 1. That's a 10. Dang. I, I just lose. The opponent wins the set. Okay. So it's like blackjack, kind of. I'm gonna stand at 16. Ah, they win. Okay. I'm digging this. Ah, dang. Okay. Credits lost 50. I didn't have 50 credits. What the? 
items received, though. Uh, was it the deck? Oh, no, I lost 50 for buying the deck, I think. Wait, how many credits do I have? Well, let's say up here somewhere. Somewhere I can check where I have credits. Oh, okay. That's okay. Gotcha. How do I check how many credits I have though? That's like actually Oh, credits too. Okay. So that's that's right then. Back again? Okay, because I want to play him again. I'm running a risk here. I'm just going to risk it. Okay, well. I'm gonna get like an 11 or something. No, a 9. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what? You had a minus 4. You are a thousand percent cheating, my dude. I'm gonna bust. No? Okay, cool. All right, that's cool. That's cool and all. Uh, let's actually do something a little bit more substantial for the video. Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. You're from the base? You don't look like a Sith. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer, first class with the Sith occupation force. Cool. Hi, I am Bran Lenstar, hero of... Sp I mean... I'm Brian Lenstar. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taras can't stand us, Sith. It can make this job pretty lonely. Well, you're just doing your job, right? I can't really hold that against you. Say the sympathetic best friend act. I'm not buying it. Dang it. I don't want to fill out a bunch of paperwork on my day off, so let's just pretend this conversation never happened. Now move along. Okay, bye. That went well. I wish the off-duty Sith would stop coming in here for drinks. I'm scouring under city looking for the Republic escape pods and they leak at the sewers. Hmm, that's information. You know, it's bad enough the Sith conquered this planet, but do they have to come in here, relax, and rub their presence on our faces? Can I not talk to you? Okay, I guess not. Oh, that's Karth. You like Pazak? I used to watch it all the time when Gelrud was playing here. He had some great matches against Niklos. Until they banned him for cheating. Speaking of cheating, that tutorial guy was pretty cheating. Nice outfit. I've seen outcasts in the Undercity who dress better than you. Heck off, lady. Now yeah, that lower city is nothing but a slum. If the Sith want to win us Terizians over, they should clean the gangs out of there. Honestly, yeah, they should, because then they'd have sympathy. But, you know, that's not very dark side, is it? You aren't from Terrace, are you? Do yourself a favor and stay away from the Terizian Ale. It packs more kick than most off-worlders can handle. You wanna bet? You're probably right. Nice outfit. I've seen outcasts in the undercity who drink. Oh, there's too many people in this cantina since they added a music room in the back. Music room, eh? Relax, not to fight with crowds. Mucha shaka paga. Yi ki kun no ba muladra ki chichon. My bad. Well, then I guess we're just gonna dance. That's substantial enough. We're just gonna sit here and dance forever. 